A thousand years ago, our land is filled with cell tracks. Oh, wait, this is fire on here. It's okay. Ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the Fell Dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us, heroes known as Emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. Wait, my mic wasn't on. Functionally. Oh, you're really awake, yeah? Tess. Years. That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon, a member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war. Fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Okay, my mic's working now. Sorry about that. I know, but it will liven up as we gain allies. I don't think it captured like the first part of you, but it's okay. I've never done this, so it's different. Anyway, this looks kind of cool. I was kind of thinking they would announce a new Fire Emblem, but I wasn't really sure. Oh, yo, what the heck, Marth? It's Marth in real life. Engage, huh? That's interesting. Oh, I love that guy. I'm Yoshiaki He's the one that appears in like every direct. For today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Yo. Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition containing collectible items. That's pretty cool. Please look forward to more information about By the way, um you might need to turn your mic up, but Let's Otherwise, it's pretty good so far. I, 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 maybe my voice was close enough. I kind of had it far. So it oh, yo, it takes two. Direct. That's a good game. I mean, I have it, but... <laughs> I mean, it should be on Switch. It, it, it just fits the library of the games. It's a very, like, platformery game, so... They'll brave an onslaught of challenges. We're working together. It doesn't look bad either. Like, 
They didn't downgrade it too much, I think. In this critically acclaimed two-player platforming adventure, even the bumpiest road can be traveled with someone by your side. Venture through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around every corner. Nice. In addition to single system play, the game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal via the oh. Free Friends Pass. Oh, wait. Help Cody and May return <laughs> to normal. Excuse me. With a partner, I'll just course. edit that out later. It Takes Two launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 4th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, it's a uh, spirit camera, um, whatever it's called. That game. Frickin' Fatal Frame. And I think that's an older game, too. Oh, or maybe not. Vanishing as a child. Ruka Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Interesting. Where's Smash? Use the camera obscura to repel evil spirits and uncover the memories that were sealed. Pokemon Snap Horror Edition. Looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame. Mask of the Lunar Eclipse launches for the first time in the West on Nintendo Switch. Oh, okay, so it is an older game. I think. There's a new hero who looks Wait. mechanical? What? Oh, I knew it. Xenoblade. Wave two of the Xenoblade Chronicles yeah, like 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade what the? Chronicles Okay, their bo I don't know. Their body looks kind of funny. They got like a bionicle yeah. arm. Uh, mechanical? Freaking bionicle body proportions. Expanding your options for classes and battle strategies. That's pretty neat, though. Challenge battles will also be added. Yeah. Top enemies. For a moment. You always gotta have that. To earn rewards. Apparently. Even stronger enemies to earn valuable accessories and special outfits. Bruh. You you called it. Special outfits. More hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave 3. Wave 2 of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion Neat. pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Oh, well, gotta sell DLC somehow, I suppose. Get drawn into these oh, what's Nintendo this? Switch games. Drawn? Nautical nonsense oh, begins Spongebob, I love that game. I'm very excited for it. I'm getting it on, like, PS4 or something. Yeah. Yo, those costumes are sick. I like how they make that a point, like, okay, Mr. Krabs will be voiced by Clancy Brown, right? Oh crap! Oh wait, never mind. Wait, what? Fit box with familiar wait, what the hell? Fitness box? What? What the heck is this? Bruh, okay, I, for a second I thought, you know, wait, Dennis is in the Spongebob game, but then it, it, it just cut the fence with the North Star. Fitness box. <laughs> Bro. Oh, it's one of those quirky multiplayer games. We have a lot of those. Kind of reminds me of Gang Beast, but Dodgeball or something. Freeze the manual. <laughs> oh, Tunic, I've heard of that. On a ruined island, brave the unknown. <laughs> it looks this cool. Symmetric action adventure game. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse Bruh. the island's interconnected that looks sick. to retrieve its missing pages. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. What long lost secrets will the island reveal? Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September 27. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. 
What the heck is this? Oh. Never mind. They just said it right there. Never heard of it, but it looks neat. Oh, so it's like Advance Wars, but realistic and with mechas. Question mark. You can also test your metal at the Colosseum. Continue the battle in the sequel, previously unreleased outside of Japan. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like how in Switch is such a library of random classic games. And over 80 new skills added from the first game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch that's, on Nintendo Switch fun. next year. And in the future... Oh, wait, no. Okay. Oh, wait, I think you might be ahead of me. But we'll see. It's what not is Pokemon, it? actually. Oh, wait, that's not Pokemon. It looked like it for a second, though. Oh, yo! Story of Seasons. That's neat. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand I never played these games, but they do look pretty neat. Care for your friendly animals and help the land flourish. Befriend the townsfolk while you're out and about in the valley. You might even meet your future partner and start a Or a little baby child. In this installment, those around you will grow older as time goes on. Yeah, that's sick. Their appearances will change over Bruh, the years. This guy's old. Your child will also choose their career based on how you raise them. Raise your child horribly in this game. Easy. And then they'll become a criminal. They'll steal all the crops or something. I don't know. Story of Seasons. A Wonderful Life launches on Nintendo Switch. Summer 2023. Oh, yes, Splatoon. Mm, yes. Splatoon. The game just came out. What do you have to say about it? I uh, guess other than the DLC. It's just the uh, new Splatfest. Oh, the Splatfest. Okay. Well, that makes sense, too. What is the Splatfest? I want to see. The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Yo, what is it? Here's the theme. What would you bring to a deserted island? Um, it's a good question. Or fun? I'd probably bring food because, I mean, you can't go to a deserted island and star. Bruh, the colors of the ink in this so slap fest are just nerds candy. <laughs> I don't know. I just think of random colors to associate things with. I get nerds candy vibes from this. The green ink looks kind of... Bruh, that pose. <laughs> they got the smooths. So, squids, what did you think? I thought it was me. I'm a squid. As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate. Oh crap! What is that? Oh, next. Please take a look at this. Trinix. Something. It's Octopath. Oh, Octopath Two. Yo. Octopath Two. Let's freaking go. I mean, I have the first one. I just haven't really played it yet. But I did like the demo from what I checked. Octopath 2! Yo. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. They got the, the song. Embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict. Without bloodshed. I'm going to become a star. And bring smiles to people's faces. This looks cool. I'm hitting the road. I'll be back once I eliminate. Bro, that guy looks cool. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. Bro. You'll we'll have all the tasty meat you want. Cat lady. I need to rediscover who I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. 
Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. Oh, that's pretty neat. They have two actions. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big world? And what adventures await them in this new world? The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them and you? Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24, 2023. I'm guessing this is just a sequel and what you just saw number only because Traveler it's like one of those years. things. It's like Final Fantasy. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Let's see some more headlines. Headlines. Oh crap! It is okay. It's like a second ahead of me. Waiting for you. Or more. Welcome to your new fairy tale life in Bay Farm. Bruh, another farming game. And forge everlasting friendships in a simulation RPG. Discover. I feel like there's always a running theme in one of these directs. Face off against mischievous foes. Bruh, what the heck? Okay, that's and crazy. The enchanted realms of Azoria. Along the way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your so far, it's a pretty alright direct. I mean, the Fire Emblem game looking at it, but otherwise, nothing early. Too crazy, that's new. But, we'll see. As the seasons change, new spellbinding surprises can be unlocked. That'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Bro, their faces. I don't really like the faces, but the the, the environments look neat. Okay, what about what else do we got here? Oh, yo, they brought back the uh, rhythm Final Fantasy. That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, it's theater rhythm, not the at rhythm. That makes more sense. Torn from the heavens. That's pretty cool, though. and more. There are 385. Yo, that's a ton of songs. So much content. So you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in online multi battle. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Run begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch system February 16th, 2023. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. What else do we got here? Games launch, paid DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. Bruh. Wait, Kingdom Hearts, right? No, I'm just kidding. Of course they don't have Kingdom Hearts DLC. And more will be released. That's nine. Of course, it's Disney. Plus, additions containing a season pass and extra songs. Of course, all these music games have to have 200 DLC. Bruh, am I gonna get copyrighted for this? I don't know. Oh, there's Mario Rabbits. Are they gonna show Rayman? Information. Yo, that looks sick. Bro, these rabbits look so crazy. I like the unique designs. Yo. They actually have, like, new rabbit designs in this one. Unlock hidden paths. Yo. And help out the locals with their troubles. Cheap tuna. Oh my god. At shops, you can get items that'll come in. Yeah, they already reveal like Rayman is coming. <laughs> yeah, but I want to see gameplay footage. Where's the, where's the gameplay? Brad Chungus Luma rabbit guy. Special powers and skills. Yo, he looks cool. Spark a decisive victory. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? 
Can Mario and the Rabbits put an end to the darkness? The antagonist looks so cool. Mario plus rabbits sparks a Dang, no Rat and Rayman info yet. Too early to be fair. Of course there's a gold edition. They're probably not that strong. Restore peace between humans and Is this Undertale? No. <laughs> <laughs> Restore peace between humans and monsters. Take a break from quests to chat with the locals, cultivate crops, and care for monsters, among other relaxing activities. You can also transform into a monster. Bruh. Your abilities and I mean, that's kind of cute. With the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events. Where's all the hype games that will help me to go like, oh, ah! to help you enjoy more I mean, I guess there's still 20 minutes in the direct, so I can't be too mad. That is somewhat average so far. Nintendo 64 games. Nintendo 64? Oh, wait, it's gonna be... Like, mid, isn't it? Oh, Mario Party! Mario Party? Which one? Two? Two, first one, second, all three. Wait, all, all three? three? Oh God. Okay. Pilot wings. That's the real hype part here. Let's go. Mario Party. Mario Party. Oh, 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 Pokemon Stadium. I mean, to be fair, it would be kind of weird without the functionality, but still. Oh wait, they do have Pokemon Stadium. What? Okay. Uh, can I use the transfer pack? Bruh. Of course they show the mini game. Bro, to an 80 snowboarding. I mean, that's a neat game, I think. Yo, Excite Bike. I can't wait to not play them because I don't have the expansion test. Oh, Wait, what? Goldeneye? What? What? They have Goldeneye? What? What the? Okay, the curveball. We didn't. It can't even be on rare replay, but it's on freaking N64. Okay, Nintendo got the rights to freaking Golden Eye, but not rare themselves. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, what's this? Super coming this year, and, two, and Mario Party 3 isn't coming until next year. Aww. Oh, Mario Party early, early, early next year, at least. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. More RPGs so everyone can complain that doesn't like RPGs. <laughs> I just think they're neat. Various Daylight launches a Nintendo Switch. Nintendo fans when they hate RPGs. A malfunction causes you to crash land on a strange planet. Build Factorio. A from scratch in this management sim. I don't know what this is. Scour the planet for materials. Then build machines to refine them into various The music resources. sounds funny in this game. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration. Yo, Ib! She wanders through a what? gallery. What? That's on Switch? Switch? Okay. When's Yumi Nikki for the Switch? One particular piece That's crazy. Yo, they got Ib. When's Mad Father for the Nintendo Switch? Every decision affects your face. Gotta have all the classic. Or PG oh, Maker games. Mario Strikers. Yo, Mario Strikers. Okay, you're ahead of me, but that's all good. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Mario Strikers. Who are they announcing? Oh, yo, Pauline. Let's go. Let's go, Pauline. Diddy Kong. Yes, Diddy Kong. I love him. Dang, that looks sick. 
Oh crap, they have Sonic? I heard the audio thing. Oh, anime game number 510. What is it? I thought I heard Sonic Frontiers, but maybe I'm just overhearing your mic wrong. Sprawling landscapes set the stage. For yeah, this looks kind of cool. Freely explore this vast world and forge your own path in this charming RPG. I can kind of hear the the direct on your end too, but it's all good and isn't that loud. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. Features are also in store. Care about what? Like the company? You know. Are in your hands. Wait for it. Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key. Wow. Is on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, 2023. Oh, it's a Telia Rise. I couldn't even tell what this game was. Oh, Wave Three, Mario Kart. Yo, they got the Christmas track. I love that. How, wow, the, the glow up is real. It looks way different from Mario Kart Tour's version. It actually kind of looks like an MK8 track. They did good. Yo, wait, Peach Gardens? That, that's not even in Tour yet. That must be that must be coming to Tour eventually. Yo, the tracks actually look good. Yo, that's sick. That's pretty cool. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. Oh, bro, really? Okay, well. The next free update, golf will be added. Now they're adding golf, finally. Why do they have to do this? To the freaking... They have to wait, like, ten years just to announce a new sport for this game. Up to eight players online can play at the same when nobody time cares the about the game anymore. Sad. Those with the most strokes will be out. Bro, that's kind of crazy. We previously announced that the update yeah, will release this holiday really? holiday 2022. Development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Bro. Wait just a little longer. Bro. Next, we have a special guest. Special guest. Mr. Miyamoto. Miyamoto. Oh no, they're they're going to announce the Mario movie, aren't oh, they? It's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Miyamoto. I have a few things I'd like to share oh, with you today, including some news. It's the Mario movie. Chris Pratt too. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers yes. animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodonte oh. from Illumination will oh. release next spring. Oh crap. Oh. Super Nintendo World, which wow. is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open oh. in Hollywood, California in the US. When? Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. When's the Florida one? Today, That's I'd closer like to, to me. About Pikmin. What? Pikmin? What? It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. Still what? No Pikmin 4. This is Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2. This is game we started with Niantic. It's an old fucking horrible game. The ultimate VMO troll. This is a rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. <laughs> <laughs> you can still use the Arlo mode. Miyamoto! 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 This has to be a segue to Pikmin 4, surely, right? Pikmin for mobile phones. We take today? Why are they talking about this game? Out and about, you can also use the AR feature to take photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. Let's take a quick look at my screen. Oh my god. <laughs> They're seriously wasting time towards freaking Pikmin Bloom on the direct. <laughs> if you get Pikmin, <laughs> 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 we 
already know about this game. Why are you telling and explaining what it is? Is it failing that badly? Locations you visited. I guess it's I new features or something. But I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. I occasionally oh my god, I'm well. crying of laughter. Yourself. Okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easy going play experience you can enjoy just by We got 10 minutes you. left. I hope you'll try it out. They they killed like two okay, of it on Pikmin Bloom. Main event. Please take a look at this. Pikmin 4? Is this actually Pikmin 4? Is it? Holy crap, it's Pikmin 4! Pikmin 4! Wait, what? Oh, it is, okay. Yo! Pikmin 4 real! Okay, now the emote has a meaning. Pikmin 4! Let's go! Wait, is it Pikmin 4? Pikmin 4! Yo, it's real! <laughs> <laughs> now I only think of the freaking Arlo emo. <laughs> That's right. Big ass, big ass launch in 2023. Arlo about to pop off right now. However, you'll be able to play like this. Pikmin Pikmin's perspective near the ground. Yo, that's cool. Who's this new captain? I like them. I also made a new t-shirt. Bruh. The switch has made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese. Dandori. Strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. That sounds I cool. All looking forward to Pikmin, Pikmin 4. 4, I knew it! Mr. Koizumi. Yes. Thank you. Just dance, much, I sleep. <laughs> Pik Bruh, just dance. <laughs> right after the Pikmin 4 announcement. <laughs> Bro, Take your this is the real hype dance right here. <laughs> Pick a bit for. I'm still s shaking. Or, uh, they're, they're wasting their time with the obligatory Just Dance announcement, which is just the same game, but with new songs. Come on, man. It's just Just Dance. Okay, thank you. Oh, another RPG. <laughs> I like to pretend to be angry at RPGs. Oh boy, here we go. As you a Square Enix the taking of the, the budget the of the Direct, of death, as usual, quiet us. To destroy all. Travel the world and find what? what is it with all these farming games? I, I noticed that happened on another Direct too. The way, oh wait, this isn't a farming game. I thought it was another far big game. You'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. It's so far far. After this presentation, a demo containing the Oh, there's the farming. First season will be available on Nintendo Wii Shop. Let's go farming sim. Transfer to the full game once purchased. Harvestella launches on Nintendo Switch November 4th. Wait, what's the Oh, Bayo 3 news. Let's go. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta. After 500 years, Bayonetta 3 now releases. The first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels to recover her lost memories. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. That's pretty cool. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect I haven't played the Bayonetta games yet, but they look cool. Bioweapons called homunculi. Yo. She's going from fighting for herself to fighting for her own. I only played the first one because I got it for free. 
Those who have overcome their past That's nice. with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca. Luca? What, like the and Pixar doll? No. Wait, her name is John? Pronounced? I thought it was Gia, but I always read it, so I don't know. Okay, John. Globetrotting adventure awaits. Globetrotting adventure? Is this Mario Odyssey? No. I'm annoying. <laughs> Are Is this a Mario Odyssey reference? After today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. Let's go. A dark fantasy mystery about. Oh my God! What is this? Wait, Donkey Rump? I knew it. I knew it looks like Donkey Rump, but I wasn't sure if it was. Oh wait, it's not exactly Ding and Rumble, but just like the same style. Oh yeah, it's said from the same people. I was like, oh wait, this isn't Dog and Rumble. Master detectives who come from all Dog and Rumble Five. Yo. What? Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. Like it looks kind of cool, actually. Thoroughly inspect each crime scene to gather clues. Seems like more like Ace Attorney. When you're ready, we're closer to Ace Attorney than Conjure a realm tying the thing about the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. However, mystery phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. <laughs> Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. <laughs> Uncover the secrets. Yeah, of Master Let's go. Launching first on the Nintendo Switch system, Spring 2023. Enter the village if you dare. Bro, oh, yo, they got REA on this. Series is coming to Nintendo. Oh, Switch Cloud version. version. Yay. Question mark. I mean, at least it makes sense for this game. The horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Resident Evil Village Cloud launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. You can download and try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop. They call Diddy Kong game. mid though. What 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 is wrong with this? Expansion DLC Direct. containing a new third person mode, additional story content, and more will launch December second. Oh, the the Golden Eye game is coming to Xbox Game Pass too. That's pretty cool. Will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch this year. It's an action packed lineup of Nintendo Switch games. What's this? Vanquish foes. Oh. Avenge your father. I don't know what this is. Action brawler. By thrusting, tripping, and parrying opponents, you'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. Fall in combat, and you'll get older and weaker. I mean, that looks kind of cool, I guess. You'll learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? See who pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch. There's no way everybody was kung fu fighting. On Nintendo eShop. Experience Bruh. leading up to Final a... Fantasy VII in this exhilarating action RPG. Oh, what Crisis Core? There's a young and ambitious soldier operative that's, that's cool to become a hero. Together with Sephiroth and Cloud, he investigates strange disappearances. I thought it was going to be another Cloud version, not going to lie. This rematch would be funny because HD graphics, an updated combat system, and meme. new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. The classic arcade shoot 'em up Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fire uh, cool. To take down waves of I mean, it looks neat. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus, or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. 
I like it when they announce this random game nobody heard of that was like old on these directs. Um, that's cool, I guess. The direct is almost over, I'm sad. Where's the hype? Announcement other than Pikmin 4. Bro, that guy looks like Jimmy Neutron. But old. Bora, another RPG. Begins anew. Oh, okay. I mean, it's Tales of Symphonia, so fair enough. Switch. The world of Silverod is controlled by shadowy forces called Desiance. To stop them, it kind of looks old still, though. Must ascend the Tower of Salvation. Really that's true. Bro, this is a remastered now. I'm just, I'm just being funny. It's like when I play Persona Full Gold, and I'm like, this looks like a PS2 game, even though it's HD. And a lumberjack who lost her emotions after an experiment. Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. Fate of two interconnected worlds. I saw Fall Guy. I saw Fall Guy. Yo. Fall Guy. Oh, wait, no. It's just a clip. Fall Guys! Where's Among Us? They gotta hide in Among Us there to be funny. Even though it's not a new game. Nintendo Switch has games! Lego Brick Tales. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. You can make Lego... Make Lego stuff or something. That Disney racing game, that kind of looks okay, I think. Oh! Yo. Kirby? <sighs> Again? What? Okay, I have to wait for it to get to it, but I'm excited. What is it? I'm gonna- I'm gonna pog off right now- Kirby! Kirby is returned to Dreamland?! What?! Is this- Wait, why did- What?! Wait, why does DDD look like Forgotten Land?! They changed DDD! Damn it, where is the Planet Robobot Deluxe? Well, that's better than nothing. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copy abilities, a new mega copy ability makes its debut. Yo. Okay, that's sick. Punch him up close. It's packed with other powerful moves as well. I do not like that they have forgotten land DDD. I don't know. He looks cursed to return to Dreamland. But otherwise, it looks really cool. They gave us shell shading. That's neat. There's also a collection of sub games to play. This includes the new sub game Magalore's Tome Trackers. And His name is like Samurai Kirby. Yo, Samurai Kirby. All sub games can be played with up to four players. Yo, that looks like freaking the uh, Air Ride mini game. His name is pronounced Magalore. I thought it was Magalore or something. Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 24th, The art style reminds me of the prototype game. That was like a pop-up e book. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. Part thing. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Yeah, Direct. that was pretty cool. Other than Pikmin and Fire Emblem and that, I guess it wasn't too exciting, but those things were highlights, for sure. And also, like, Mario Party and GoldenEye, of course. That was cool, too. Oh, wait, wait! What is this? I didn't know they had another announcement. Oh, wait, it's... Is this, like... Oh, wait, Zelda! Zelda! Yes. I didn't know first. I thought it was like, oh, another RPG game? 
<laughs> Yo, it's all the news, finally! Breath of the Wild delayed again. Yo! This looks sick! Okay, there's the hype announcement I was waiting for. Skyward Sword 2. But open world. Yo, okay, the sky stuff looks pretty neat. Oh, it finally has a name. Oh, it has a name? Okay, I'm gonna wait to see what that is. Yo, he has a glider? Thing? Legend of Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. Well, it doesn't quite ring as much as Breath of the Wild, but it is a neat title. I mean, Tears of the Kingdom it works. Shit. Yo, May. Dang. That, that's gonna be a oh, wait, man. Okay, that's sick. It won't say it is, uh, I, I gotta finally bite the bull in the expansion pack just for Mario Party. <laughs> Okay, well, um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, where's Mario Party freaking Superstars DLC? Um, anyway, I guess that's pretty much it, so we can stop now if you want. Um. See ya. Yeah, have a good one. I'll, uh, see what I can do with this later. Bye!